Hey, it's Brent McMahon here. Gonna give you a quick rundown on my race bike for Road to Iron Man. So, I ride the Quintana Roo PR6 disc brake. So, I've got disc brakes that I'm running, front and rear. They've done a really great job of integrating the caliper into the fork and in behind this main rear stay. So the disc brakes are actually no faster, no slower than just regular brakes, but they break way better in all conditions, rain, dust, no matter what. So the disc brakes are awesome. I'm running Eastern parts, so that covers cranks and wheels. Uh, right now I've got my training wheels and my EA90 SLs on there. My race wheels are the Easton Aero 85s. They're deep dish, front and rear, tubeless. So keeps the punctures down, keeps the roll rolling resistance down and the speed high. This is a Easton EC90 SL crank with a power meter in it, the cinch power meter. Uh, it's single sided, but it's an axle based. So it's super consistent, it works in any weather, and it's Bluetooth and ant compatible, so it works with any head unit you want, and it is super light. So there's no weight penalty there, and the cranks are super stiff. I'm running Shimano 5542 rings. Um, I like not running out of gears, uh, so that's why I run the bigger chain rings. Um, Durace, electronic shifting all through the bike with synchro shift. So Shimano's come out with a great system to automatically change the front chain ring whenever you change to a certain gear in the back. So you don't even have to think about changing your front ring. It just does it automatically. I've got an oversized SLF motion pulley wheel system here. It reduces friction and speeds up shift changes and gains you some watts. So it helps you go fast. This one's super cool because it's carbon fiber with uh, aluminum wheels. And then on the inside, they can do custom stuff and they've got some maple leaves on the inside of the carbon fiber. So that was a little special, uh, special thing just for me. So it's pretty awesome to get some unique stuff just for my red and black bike. Obviously the great thing about the Quintana Roo is it's a triathlon specific bike. Um, they planned everything. Um, you've got storage in here for your flat, um, your tubes, your tools, whatever you want to train with. And then for racing, you can put your spare tubular or you know a spare tube, CO2. You've got two bottle mounts because we spend most of our time training, not just racing. So having two bottle mounts there, I've got a double rack on the back and then I've got an aero bottle up front. So when I'm training, I've got five bottles I can take with me. So it means I have to stop less and just train longer. So, you know, that's the main thing. I've got the pro aero bars on here. Um, they're super versatile. They come with two different extensions. Um, the base bar, it's a nice width. It's not super skinny, it's not super wide, but it's also super aerodynamic. So it's super light. Um, along with the, the easy fit on the pro bars, the stem with Quintana Roo has lots of adjustment. You can get two different size stem lengths, but then there's spacers underneath that you can flip on top. So you can raise and lower the handlebar super easily and it makes everything super nice. For more on how I do things on Road to Ironman, go to my Instagram or my website.